Hello, and thank you for being part of the Wayne State University Mortuary Science Program's Funeral Service Educational Team. Your participation in our students' education is vital to their success and to enhancing professionalism in funeral service. I'm Mark Evely, Chair of the Department of Applied Health Sciences and Program Director of Mortuary Science at Wayne State. This video series is designed to provide answers and guidance to you, our preceptors. We recognize that sometimes there's a disconnect between what is taught in textbooks and in class and the practical everyday applications of those principles. Our curriculum is developed from American Board of Funeral Service Education curricular outlines, which are written by educators and practitioners across the country. We know that the way we teach a particular method or approach is not the only way. We ask that you refrain from telling a student that what they've been taught is wrong and instead use this opportunity to show them a way to do a task differently. In fact, we encourage you to teach students different approaches. Explaining your approach or method to the student will provide a meaningful learning experience for them and help them to have a deeper understanding of the principle involved. While we know you're sure to have additional questions or require specific clarity in certain areas, we're confident that we'll answer the most commonly asked questions and get you started on the path to a rewarding practicum experience with a Wayne State student. So let's get started. This video is an introduction to instruction in clinical programs and explains the role you'll play as a preceptor. Our program's accrediting agency, the American Board of Funeral Service Education, requires that any licensee working with a student must receive training concerning knowledge base, competency, and evaluation of student procedures and criteria, a workshop, and a manual pertaining to the training and methods of evaluation. Wayne State also provides practicum sites and preceptors with practical guidelines in working with students to make optimal use of the preceptor's time and maximize the educational experience of the student. I love servicing families, especially in their time of need and being there that extended arm or ear to where they need someone to talk to or some type of direction or guidance in regards to their finalizing their arrangement for the loved one. So I overall love servicing families. My first day of practicum was the first time that I had been behind the scenes in a funeral home. Um, and I hadn't had a lot of people pass away in my family, so it was really a new experience for me. And it was slightly overwhelming, but my preceptor was amazing. She listened to me, she asked me what my experience was, and when she found out that I didn't have any, she really had patience and took the time with me to you know, go slow and teach things to me, so that was very, very helpful. I think the most enlightening part was meeting all the other funeral directors that I got to meet. Um, they shared their experiences with me, helped me grow as a person and as a funeral director. I learned a lot from each person, so it was nice to meet fellow colleagues in this field. Practicum is a course designed to expose our students to actual funeral service practice in a licensed facility like yours. Practicum is important to the overall program curriculum because it provides students with practical, on-the-job skills that they need to effectively work at a funeral home, and it helps them better understand the concepts they're learning in lecture. The practicum tasks that you'll be teaching our students hands-on are designed to help them understand key concepts that they'll be tested on when taking the National Board Examination. Plus, it provides students with a basic understanding of funeral home operations and the skills that are involved in being a funeral director and embalmer. Throughout the whole semester at all three locations that I was placed, everything was hands-on, whether it's transporting from one facility to another facility, dressing and placing, going on removals, filing death certificates, picking up death certificates. So they make sure whatever I don't know, they'll be like, okay, we're gonna go ahead and get you some type of exposure to that. Let's first discuss the ABFSC accreditation standards, clinical requirements that our students must obtain in order to graduate. Students need at least 10 embalming cases, one of which is a competency case observed and evaluated by a Wayne State faculty member. Students need five arrangement conferences, 
They also must observe or assist in the arrangement conference or participate in simulated arrangement conferences. Students must observe or assist in five funeral services, funeral-related services, or ceremonies. Students may actively participate in the process of taking actual first calls or may do so through simulation. They are required to take five first calls and students must actively participate in at least one transfer of the deceased from the place of death or demonstrate the transfer process. Now let's discuss your responsibility as the preceptor. Simply put, your role in the practicum program is vital to its success, so it's important for you to understand your impact on our students and their futures in the profession. Here are a few of the roles and responsibilities you'll be required to fulfill as a preceptor in the Wayne State program. You, the preceptor, will serve as a mentor to the student. You'll work with the student to schedule adequate experiences like embalming and preparation procedures, assisting with the arrangement of conferences, and other services. Treat students as professionals. Provide them relevant tasks and responsibilities that will aid in their development of becoming experts in the field of mortuary science. Teach students about the products, services, and pricing offered at the funeral home. Read and sign all reports completed by our students. And certify that students complete the tasks reported by signing the forms provided for each activity. I felt a lot more prepared for my starting my real job after practicum, because I learned a lot there. I learned you know, how to do things. I felt I better versed myself as a funeral director and became more skillful in, in different areas. Without that practicum experience, I would have needed a lot of training, probably a few months of training. Thanks again for taking on this important role as a preceptor in the Wayne State University Mortuary Science Program. If you have additional questions about clinical programs and the role you play as a preceptor, reference the Wayne State University Mortuary Science Practicum Manual or contact Practicum Coordinator Lauren Budrow or me, Mark Evely, via the information you see here.